reduced to rubble. This was part of the headquarters of the G5 Sahel, the anti-terror force tasked with driving jihadists out of the region. On Friday, the terrorists came to their base in central Mali, armed with rockets and explosives. First, a suicide bomber in a vehicle painted in UN colors blew himself up at the entrance to the base, destroying the exterior wall. Then other militants fought to get in, exchanging gunfire with the troops, leaving several dead. It's the first time the G5 Sahel headquarters has been targeted, a year after it was set up in response to a proliferation of violence by Islamist militants in the region. The timing of this attack is a setback for the force, coming a few days before a major summit to discuss its future between the French president and the G5 heads. France and the United States have provided significant funding for the force, made up of soldiers from Burkina Faso, Chad, Mali, Mauritania and Niger. But the G5 has been slow to get off the ground, hobbled by delays dispersing the money and coordination among the five countries.